Now welcome aboard the 737 plane. Let's just go ahead and take it off. Just innocently take it off from this La Mole airport in the south of France. Not the longest runway, but we all know the 737. We all love it. It has good runway performance, so this shouldn't be that much of an issue at all. We can even put out the heads up display right here. This is no problem at all. But actually, wait. Birds. All right, that's actually gone horribly wrong. Holy moly. We're, we have surpassed the V1 speed, meaning we're just going to take off even though we did lose one engine due to bird strike. And this has been a very interesting introduction to this video. Yeah, today's topic, finally talking about bird strikes again. And, uh, well, this bird strike wasn't all that good. Let's just go ahead and fix this really quick. Of course, we have an engine fire on board. We may want to fix that by suffocating the engine here, the fire. Good. Uh, let's just go ahead and actually try to turn around here. I don't really want to waste time. I just really could want to come ba back in for the runway. So we're just going to do a turn. Actually, this is not that big of a problem. Again, we've only got lost one engine. And this kind of scenario, our pilot would just, you know, stay very calm. This is just something not all that not routine. This is, of course, what a pilot trains for normally. The only thing I'm really sad about is really the millions of dollars we just lost on that left engine. And probably the wing doom. You know what I mean? All right. Full on the flaps. Let's go ahead and get this plane landed. Yeah. All right, that's been a nice landing. Let's just go ahead and nicely and easily stop this plane uh, with the wheel brakes, of course. No reverse thrust. We only have one of the two engines. All right, that's gone quite well. There we go. A nice landing here. Um, even though, again, uh, we had a bit of an interesting takeoff. I mean, we can take a look at it again. I'm not quite sure if the birds will show up this time around here in the replay, too. Uh, they actually do. Uh, yeah, they do. Oh, they're a little bugged. But yeah, we had a bird strike on the runway. Again, something that actually isn't all that uncommon. I mean, only recently we had this interesting case here of the 737 MAX from American Airlines. Yes, they're actually flying again. That had also a bird strike on the runway. Here we go. Ah, uh, here you can actually see some birds here in the foreground too. Uh, now, I'm not quite sure if you can tell any birds here, but what they did here... Oh, yeah, birds on the runway. Birds, a lot of birds on the runway. What the Pazin did in this case was abort the takeoff, which is, of course, a good thing to do. If you have enough runway left, which they did here. Holy moly, that was interesting. Let's check out the actual video, get this real close. So the pilots, of course, were taking off, and then they saw the birds and aborted the takeoff. You can immediately tell how this plane went from full power to full stopping point for app. There we go. Yep, those are some big birds, by the way. Holy moly. And again, this is something that happens very, very regularly. A bird strike at an airport. Actually, several times a day, thousands of times a year, which, you know, I, I can also say, I mean, I've also had near bird strikes on takeoffs on landings too never of course had an actual bird hit me but it's gotten close to indeed and that's something you should really look out for as a pilot of course see you know that's because you know birds just really like it around airports they like to hang out obviously it's actually quite a nice habitat you have a lot of free land and uh, you are surrounded by a lot of other birds planes <laughs> I mean, but really, uh, very suitable mostly for birds. And this is why there's a lot of birds actually normally hanging around at airports. Again, quite a bit of a problem. Not specifically here, I think, at London City. I mean, again, this is in the middle of the city. This doesn't have a lot of uh, free land, a lot of grass here. But I'm pretty sure there will be one or two birds as well. Right now there, for example, is... Oh, damn. I've never actually had a... Oh, damn, this is bad. I mean, I think we can go around. Actually, let's try to do this. Come on, let's abort the takeoff. Full power? Full, full, full power. Holy moly. Full power? Oh! You guys, this has probably been the most boring bird strike on this channel ever, but I managed to, um, you know, just abort the takeoff. That's gone quite well. Rest in peace, Airbus Beluga. I don't think you would ever really see this plane flying here at this place, though. All right, how did this go? So, uh, here uh, were the birds. There we go. A little bugged here. There's a lot of birds here. Hit one of the engines, and we just, you know, kind of went for a bit of a abortion. Perfect. And by the way, since we're already talking about London City, this is actually the uh, primary reason why only twin jets are allowed to fly here. Planes that have two engines, because, you know, if one engine fails by a bird strike, which uh, just happened, we have another one, meaning that we won't crash into the city. I mean, wait, wait a second. I can try this again, make it a bit more severe. Here we go. Bird strike failure. My most, you know, favorite failure in the flight simulator. All right, come on. Where are the birds? Where are the birds? Oh, that's been the birds. And we've got two engines lost. Let's maybe try. All right, let's fight against this. Let's maybe try to go around. Maybe we're a little bit of a stupid pilot and not continue the approach. Uh, try to uh, go around since... 
Why would you ever do that? I mean, that could be a pilot error that you could actually do in some certain scenario. Going around even though you've lost both engines. That's really bad. Okay, we are losing more and more power on both of our engines. This is really not looking good. I mean, this is actually not a very agile plane either. This is definitely not going to work out. Time to head for the River Thames. I mean, this is called the Airbus Beluga after all. Which is, uh, I mean, it's named after a whale. So I think it should fly. Holy moly. Oh, we have lost power. We've lost a lot of power, actually. Oh my goodness. This is by the way, the English version of the uh, Hudson River crash now. Oh no, we're definitely crashing. That's not gone particularly well. But hey, this plane is now in its natural habitat. Water. Great. Now, of course, as you could just see, it makes sense to maybe try to avoid bird strikes by, uh, reducing bird population around airports by mostly making, you know, the surroundings of an airport less of an enjoyable area for birds. Like, uh, you know, you can remove seed bearing plants or an insectistant, what is that word? Holy moly. Covering nearby ponds, blah, blah, blah. But there's a lot of things you can do as well. Very creative solutions out there. I mean, I featured one in a stream like a few months ago where I was actually streaming from the airport. Wasn't particularly good quality. That was actually at Frankfurt Airport. I looked at some landing until I spotted a fox on the runway. Actually, someone in the chat spotted him. There it is. There you go, the fox. Yeah, these are actually at the airport and actually have an interesting purpose. They are meant to catch the birds. They are actually supposed to be there. Kind of planted by the, planted is probably the wrong word, by the airport, whatever. I'm pretty sure there's like tons of other ways that are very creative to get rid of birds at airports. And that's actually really cool. Now we do have to say, of course, this flight simulator is um, a bit exaggerating when it comes to uh, the bird strike effects. Of course, not every flock of birds results into a multiple engine shut down, death, and d dead. Most actually just lead to maybe a broken windshield too, or just a broken wing. Some or something, uh, just on the regular this happened, and we have got some more birds. This is actually huge. Oh damn, that was some sound. <laughs> you can hear that bang. Alright, we've lost our second engine again, but we are way too fast now to stop. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Alright, back the A350 is <laughs> too big of a plane anyway for this airport. Hasn't particularly worked well, and um, now it is time again to come in for a bit of a landing. Again, this can be very relaxed since we have, you know, one engine still running. Now, let's come in for a landing here at this airport again. This could be a bit of an issue since we now have no reverse thrust, or at least limited reverse thrust, but we can try this anyway. Let's make sure that this plane still flies nicely. I mean, it's an A350. We can just turn on the autopilot. It doesn't really matter. By the way, I like what it says here on the ECAM. Engine 2, fire in flight. And it always uh, puts some instructions on what you should do. It says land ASAP and we're dying. Thanks for the suggestion. Airbus. <laughs> Alright, a bit of an emergency type of landing. Holy moly. Alright, can we stop now? Please. Holy moly, this plane is not stopping at all, is it? Alright, come on. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Please. That's gone well. Just consider that as... as yeah, perfect. Rest in peace, Sports Park. A perfect landing is again. Yeah, I don't like this plane. But so yeah, guys, that is bird strikes again. Not as dangerous as it is in the flight simulator. Oh damn, in <laughs> the flight simulator indeed. But something that you should avoid. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now thank you to all my members here on YouTube like Block, Emmett, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Burkowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Chista Ritos, Shadow, Anime Planes 001, X-Men Show, Laird, The Slama, Twittering, Kellen, Me By You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Vagel, and Paralogy.